Hi folks, hope you're okay, it's good to see you. I just want to talk about my experience at High Park this time. It's my fourth time at High Park. And it was it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it this time. I found Hyde Park environment very tough <laughs> um, as a street preacher. I found it one of perhaps the most toughest places to do street preaching, to be honest. Um, but I, I kind of was so pleased and so glad that so many people were praying. There were people from America praying. There were people around Manchester praying. There were lots and lots of people praying for me and Mike when we went down there. And you could tell because it, there was a tremendous sense of God being with us, tremendous sense of relaxing and feeling a sense that God was with us uh, in, in the evangelism there. And I, and I really felt it was profitable. Whereas before, I did think sometimes, um, are we really getting through here? Um, so I've been down four times uh, as a preacher I find it very difficult because you get these hecklers these Muslim hecklers and they kind of bully you and surround you and they kind of stop you from preaching and I find that very very difficult to deal with because uh, you can't tell them to go away because it's speaker's corner but wonderfully God really worked because these people were around and I was able to have some helpful debates and discussions and Mike had some good discussions as well and we're able to share the gospel to people who listened but again it was down to people's praying it was it was down to people really just praying really so I want to thank everybody for the prayers and for the support that they gave us because without your support without your prayers we wouldn't have been as effective as we were so I thank you for that I just want to say one or two things about Hyde Park uh, Hyde Park is not the best place to go and do evangelism believe it or not it's a very argumentative environment and because of the argumentative environment it, it kind of can bring the gospel into disrepute because People are not arguing in a, in a fair, honest discussion. They're just endlessly uh, squabbling. And, and that's not good. But the thing is about Hyde Park, it's very strategic for winning the nation. And very strategic in, in, in getting the cross, gospel across, not only in the UK, but for Europe and the world. Because a lot of people Google and look for what's happening in Hyde Park. So it's very strategic there and secondly it's very strategic in reaching Muslims because there is a plethora of Muslims, there's maybe four or five hundred Muslims there and basically uh, if we don't go down there we're giving that space to the Muslims and they're going to take over. They have taken over uh, Hyde Park, but we're not going to let them take over. We're going to continue. Christians are going to continue to go there. And we're going to continue to witness. But they, it is full of, of Muslim people. So it, it, it's a, a wonderful opportunity to reach the Mus the Muslim world with the gospel. And I'm going to keep repeating this in videos, so that people get this in their mind that it might not be the best platform but it's a very strategic platform so it needs you to, to, to if you're going to go down there to make sure that you go down there with a lot of prayer pray a lot before you go down there make sure when you go down there you've done preparation this is my some of my preparation which I'm going to go through in a minute that's my preparation for Hyde Park. Those are my study notes. So, before me and the, t the teams that I've taken down, some of our guys who, who I've taken down, we do preparation. We, we study the Bible. We spend time in prayer. 
and we study, we go on the internet and we listen to these Muslim apologists and we study what they say, we go and research and find information to see where we can turn these people over and show what they're saying is wrong. So we do a lot of preparation. So when we go down there, we're well prepared. And you can see that when Mike, Mike debated Mohammed. Mohammed's a, a seasoned person who goes down there and debates people. Mike, uh, a, a colleague of mine, went down there with me. He debated Mohammed and he was fine. And Muhammad, uh, Mike was fine because he'd done his research. He, 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 he meticulously prepares himself before he goes down. And so I need to encourage you, if you're going to go down to Hyde Park, you need to do your preparation. You need to go and study these apologies. Go and listen to them, make notes, and then go and do some research and find out how you can answer them. I, I take my, when I go to Hyde Park, I take my Bible and I take a file. So I've got a file and a bi my Bible. In my file, I've got stuff to rebut anybody who says anything. And in my Bible, I've got notes here. I've got like a booklet on the Trinity, booklet on science, uh, uh, mathematical, mathematical in possibility of evolution so this is my bible so when I'm down there and I'm preaching or sharing the gospel if an atheist or a Muslim or whatever comes I've got some notes here just in case I can't remember to bring out so go prepared and go as a team you need people to go as a team you need people to go with you as a team you know and if you can, I know it's difficult to work together at two or three together in a group when you're talking to people. Uh, very often people go down and they do their own talking and, and things and that, that's okay but very often the Muslims are outnumbering the Christians. Like you've got like 10, 30 Christians, 30 Muslims around one Christian. And it's very discouraging. So if there's two or three of you working together, talking to Muslims, then you know you're going to be a bit stronger do a lot of praying a lot of preparation and be wise when you get down there here's a few tips the Muslims see their work down in Hyde Park as a war not, not, not a military war but they see it as a war they see it as they want to take over our country so when you go down there, you're, you're, you're basically meeting a lot of prepared people who mean business. They're, they're down there to take you down, and they're down there to take the country for Islam, right? So when you go down there, you'll talk to a couple of Muslims that will be genuine, but a lot of them are foot soldiers who are just there to take you down, right? So they'll have arguments, they'll have things that they want to say, to put your faith down, to make you look stupid, to get you on camera and to put before the world look how stupid Christianity is. Right? So don't expect any mercy when you go down there. Don't expect any mercy. They, these people, a lot of them are ruthless. They want to take Christianity out. They want to show it up. They want to destroy it. And they want to take over our country. So when you go down there, right, that's the environment that you're in. Make no bones about it, that is the environment that you're in, right? And in the midst of that, you've got to look for genuine people who really want to talk. And at the same time, you've got to refute these kind of characters. Now, the Muslims will only talk about what they want to talk about. And they just want to talk about attacking the Bible and the Trinity. That's all they want to talk about. They don't want to talk about anything else. So long as they can, in their own heads, uh, mock the Trinity and mock the Bible, they're happy. So long as they get a few uh, video clips of that, 10, 15, video, 15 minutes of a video clip of humiliating Christians, then they're happy. So... You need to do your research, you need to 
find out who these characters are, see how they conduct themselves, and you need to pray about whether to avoid them or if you engage in debate with them that you know what you're talking about. Quite a lot of Christians go down there, young Christians, and they don't know what they're talking about and they get into confrontations with Mansur and people like that and, and, and they're made a fool of. So be careful. Do some preparation before you go down there. Okay? Remember the spirit that you're dealing with. You're dealing with um, a kind of spirit that is out to basically destroy you and put you on the internet and make the faith look stupid. Expect no mercy from them. They will not be merciful to you. They will destroy you. Because all they're bothered about is getting you on camera and making you look stupid. So we, when we go down, we meticulously do preparation. We prepare. We spend hours and hours praying, hours and hours studying the Bible, and hours and hours studying their apologies, looking what they're saying, looking what they're doing, who's who, and we make notes on them, and then we do some research on them, and we go and find out information how to answer these people. Um, to the pastors out there and leaders um, who, t who, who go down there and there needs to be Christians working together more there needs to be holding the Muslims to the fire the Muslims have had answers to the Trinity we, we need to push them back and talk about the Quran we need to talk about Islam we need to critique Islam so it was good this time a lot of Christians were really holding the Muslims to the fire a lot of Christians this time were really uh, challenging Islam and the Muslims don't like it and they're not liking it. So that's what we need to do. So you need to continue to stop answering the questions that Muslims are asking about the Trinity and you need to push back and ask questions about the Quran and criticize them. And what I've noticed is the Muslims soon will not talk about their religion. They, they will not talk about their religion, they are so dishonest. Uh, they just don't like it, they don't like it because it's so full of holes and so full of e easy to criticise, they just do not like it at all. Uh, but you need to bring information and critique Islam. And if they don't want to debate, get two step ladders and do what Jay Smith does, talk about the information that you've done research on Islam, film it and put it on the internet. So either way, you're getting your information out. The other thing as well, what I've noticed with the Muslims, if you look at Hyde Park, there's about 8 to 10 Muslim groups out there with professional cameras. And their cameras are, are worth... I, I asked one Muslim apologist, and he said that his camera was £800. So these Muslims have got quality equipment and they're doing a quality work in the terms of production value they're, they're getting these Christians on camera, showing them up and they're doing it on quality cameras whereas the Christians when I look there's, apart from Jay Smith's group Jay Smith has a, a quality cameraman there's no other Christians out there that I saw using quality equipment uh, big cameras with, with quality uh, production value so that, that's something that needs to improve. People need to invest, churches need to invest, groups need to invest in quality camera equipment with cameras that are like five to eight hundred pounds, proper big cameras. And then you need to go down there and you need to have a mic and you need to do the interviewing and you need to do the debate in a professional way, etc. But it's a very difficult environment because there's a lot of bullying going on. The Muslims bully the Christians. They send their, their foot soldiers around the street preachers to stop them from preaching. They're, when they preach, they don't allow anybody to get in their way. They don't allow anybody to heckle them. When they debate, they don't allow anybody to heckle them. When Christians debate, they allow heckling. So it's a very, very unfair batting field at Hyde Park. So it's a real, real battle. That's why it needs a lot of teamwork 
a lot of people working together. But we can't give this space up, so we need to pray and we need to, from time to time, people need to go down there. If there are any Bible college students, theology students, pastors, missionaries, uh, anybody with debating skills, uh, anybody who knows a bit about Islam and can critique Islam, can defend the faith, maybe pray about going down once every now and again to Hyde Park and just give Christians a bit of support and be an influence down there. And if a, a, a few hundred did that uh, around the country, just made a point of going down once every six weeks, then the, the strength of, the, of, of Christianity would be a lot better down there. And if all the Christians go down there more prepared, you know, it'd be good if some people on the internet could prepare study sheets, questions and material and, and disseminate it. Uh, you know, it'd be good if David Wood or Islamic uh, Answering Islam or J. Smith or other groups would do fact sheets and information that they can take out with them for Hyde Park. Uh, and then Christians, when they're going out there, can use that material uh, to ask Muslims questions. You know, so these are the kind of things that that need to be done. Um, and there needs to be more training sessions. So if you're a pastor and you you're in London, uh, maybe you could encourage people to go to training sessions about how to witness to Muslims. Um, there needs to be a bit more training on apologetics. People need to be taught how to do apologetics, how to defend the faith. So uh, quite a bit of that needs to be done. Needs to be a lot more of Christians working together, supporting each other. You know, if you go down there and, and you've got your own ministry, but you see a street preacher down there, go and stand with that street preacher. Just stand at the side until they're finished and bat off some of the people who are mocking that preacher. You know, uh, and if you're a street preacher, join up with another street preacher, work together, work as a team, you know, and support each other. We need to support each other, work with each other, help each other. If if Christians are in a, if a Christian's in a debate down there, some of the Christians who are listening, go and stand next to them. The Christian who's debating, don't don't put off the the Christians who are standing with you. They're there to support you, so encourage them. Say, no, 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 they're with me. You know, Godwin, uh, I was debating a guy called Hussein, and Godwin came and stood next to me. And, it's, and the Muslim was saying, oh, he's interrupted. I said, no, he's with me, because he's a brother of mine. He's a brother in Christ. We stand together. So they're trying to divide us. No, we're standing together. You know, so stand with the Christians when others are in debate. Stand with them and encourage them. Uh, you know, there was a one, one guy uh, with dreadlocks, and he was debating... Uh, a lot of Muslims and he was just like surrounded and I just came there and I was going yeah yeah you're right yeah yeah and I was giving him like standing and shouting going yeah yeah you're right and it was just that extra support just to give him a bit of that support saying yeah you're all right you know what I mean so so we need to do that we need to continue to encourage uh, one another and I think that there was a big improvement at Hyde Park uh, this time really big improvement I, I looked around and I saw a lot of Muslims on the back foot I saw a lot of Christians holding the Muslims to the fire they were asking them about Islam and the Muslims didn't want to answer the questions and for ages and ages the, the, the Christians were saying come on answer answer the Muslims wouldn't answer but the Christians were saying look you want to attack us you want to criticize us now you answer our questions and that's what we need to keep doing now for the next few years we need to just say forget about the trinity let's get back to let's get to your Quran. let's get to your prophet answer these questions that's what we need to do now we need to really really uh, hold these as one friend in america says hold these hold the muslims feet to the fire we really need to press them at high power so when they start asking you questions about Trinity in the next few weeks, just forget about it. Say, no, let's talk about your Quran. Let's talk about your prophet. Let's, let, let, let's, let's see. And they won't like it and they won't want to do it. And they'll try to avoid it. They'll avoid anything than actually looking at their own faith and, and dealing with the criticisms of their own faith. 
So those are my thoughts. Um, do your preparation. Uh, remember, it's a strategic place. It's not the best place, but it's strategic. So we need to go there. We need to take it for the Lord. Secondly, do your preparation. Prepare meticulously. Thirdly, work together as a team. And fourthly, when you go down there, don't play the Muslim game anymore. We need to hold them to the fire. Hold them to the fire. Keep holding to the fire. Oh, and fifthly, be more professional. There needs to be more of a professional atmosphere. People need to invest in proper equipment, buy better cameras. You, you know, the, the only people who were using cameras there, uh, the Christians, was mobile phone. There weren't many Christians out there actually using big cameras. The Muslims have them all over the place, and so their YouTube channels are like professionally done, production value kind of YouTube channels. So Christians need to invest in proper equipment and be humble enough and gracious enough to work together to use that equipment to edify uh, the gospel. Uh, so, you know, e even if some of you street preachers in Hyde Park club together, put some money together and bought a camera, a bigger camera, like a big, like proper camera and use that to film each other, uh, to film debates, to, you know, or if some churches invested in a camera and let the street preachers in Hyde Park or go on video the street preachers, that, that is a, a ministry that a church could do or churches is, is actually go and invest in, in some of these large cameras that cost like £800 and then go down and just find the preachers and the Christians and film their debates and then put them online and so it looks professional and that the Christians look more professional in what they're doing. You know, that is an area that is something that can be done. And there's a desperate need for pastors, theology students, people who know quite a bit to go down there. If some can go down there every week, brilliant. If some can go down there once every four weeks. I'm, I'm trying to go down once every every four weeks. Go down there and just hold the Muslims to the fire because if you've got a theological background you know your stuff you can go down there you can defend the faith better so that a lot of these young Christians who are going down there you know they're, they're gonna learn from you they're gonna be encouraged by you they're gonna be trained by you as you go down there so you need to be thinking as a theology student as a pastor as a leader do you want me to go down to Hyde Park if it's just once a week, once a month, once every six weeks, just go down, give the Christians a bit of support, do a bit of preaching, do a bit of debating. It make the, it make a massive difference if there are people who know the stuff go down there and help. Okay, so I've gone on about that, um, but this, you know, I've I've said a lot. High parts very very uh, strategic. It's a very tough place, but it's very strategic. So there needs to be prayer of how to utilize that strategic opportunity. Uh, maybe you're the person. Maybe God's raising you up to go down there and and to make sure that the gospel is held up there. All right. I know a lot of pastors, a lot of preachers. Uh, I know a lot of the Calvinist. Uh, a lot. A, a lot of leaders, a lot of missionary workers, a lot of people will be against going to Hyde Park because it's not a good environment. And I understand that. And I and I and I my heart is was generally in that direction. But when you go down there you're talking like four or five hundred Muslims. And if we don't go down there, they're gonna take the nation from Hyde Park. From Hyde Park they'll use that to take the nation, to take the UK. So we can't afford to lay, let that space be taken because it's being filmed every week. They're putting hundreds of product, good value production videos up of debates with Christians and making the Christians look stupid. And that's spreading all around the UK. 
and all around the world. And we can't allow that to happen. We need to go back there, be professional, get some solid cameras, solid camera groups, good debaters, good preachers, uh, good missionaries down there, pastors, leaders, and, and get a solid witness there so that we get our view presented on the internet in, in good value. There are people like uh, Rory Gallagher who goes down there, he films street preachers, he puts it on his channel, he's got a really good production channel, but he's using a mobile phone, it's an excellent mobile phone, and he's doing a brilliant job there, but he's gone before everybody, he's shown the way, but we need a lot more of that, and we need bigger cameras, better cameras, and, and better production value, uh, and, and, and we need to be more professional. So. I've gone down there and I've taken a team, teams, and what we add is we're just giving, we, we, we go down prepared, so we're helping in that area with knowledge, uh, encouraging people with, with knowledge, um, and, and so you, you know, that's where we're at, so, and you, and you can see that, you can see like recently I had a debate with Hussein, and, and he couldn't hoodwink me. Uh, I've had a debate with Mansour, he couldn't hoodwink me. Uh, Mike had a debate with Mohammed, he couldn't hoodwink Mike. Because we've gone down there prepared and, and we're pushing them back and we're saying, here, yeah, we're, we're more prepared, we, we know what we're talking about, we're ready for you. And that's what we need. Sorry for going on a long time. I, I'm passionate about this because I just feel that maybe you have the right gifts, the right attitude. Maybe you. I've got something to offer that can help Christians down the high part. You know, may, maybe you've been doing a lot of street preaching up the north of England. Maybe have a break, have a go down to High Park every now and again. Uh, maybe you do evangelism around the country. Why not go to London for the day on a Sunday? Maybe uh, you're a theology student. You're doing a degree or an MA or a PhD. Why not go down there? and interact with Muslims okay if you want training if there's anybody who's interested but doesn't know how to go forward get in touch with Jay Smith's group at Pathfinders if you go to Pathfinders YouTube channel um, if you're interested in Muslim evangelism go and get involved with uh, Jay Smith's group they do a training course and, and they can train you in uh, witnessing to Muslims alright I've gone on quite a lot about this but I'm just trying to encourage people to to reach out at Hyde Park alright thank you for listening God bless you